All right. Okay. So today we're gonna be making some old El Paso tortillas. Yeah, that's what I bought. Right. And this right here is actually it's. Um, well, you can see the box. Enchilada. Yeah. That's what we're making today, right? It's a kit, you know, but I just thought, well, hey, let me show you how I do my thing. Okay, so what I've done, let me just wash my hands real quick and dry them, all right? So I'm just gonna show you something, man. So I've emptied out the container, but I'm gonna make this a little bit more spicy. So this is what you get. This is like what we're gonna cook the fish in. I'm making fish enchilada, all right? Now, we've got our tortillas. Yeah. Um, now, basically, I buy this. Yeah. So this is pretty much expensive, but I do buy this, right? And this is uh, monkfish, monkfish fillets. Yeah. Um, really good. I normally make it with this, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this another time so this is what it is just make sure that you guys can see exactly what that is right hopefully that's not um thing so let me just show you what that that is right there all right that's normally what i make with these tortillas yeah now this is um this is 0 0.682 kg so just over um half a kg yeah but it's, I mean, it's very expensive. I mean, I pay 20 pounds 45 for just half of, just over half of a kg of this fish. But, you see, there's no bones. It's, it's already been filleted. Um, the unfortunate thing is there's no skin on this. Yeah? And when you eat the skin of the actual fish, that's where a lot of the omega-3 is. But with this particular fish, there isn't any um, the skin apparently is 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 really hard, so there isn't much that you get from that. So anyway, it's skinless, it's filleted, deboned. This and believe me, it's it's heavy. I mean, it's it's 0 0.682 kg, so it's heavy. So what I've got is I've actually gone ahead and I've got me some. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so what I've got. Is I've gone ahead. Let me just zoom this out and get this a bit, fo bit more focus. Right now, I've got fresh um, haddock. Yeah. So look at this. This, these are simple, simply fresh, um, scaled, beautiful fillets of haddock. Yeah. All right loads of flesh and we got our skin which i encourage you guys to eat yeah. that has the omega in there so always eat the skin of the fish as long as the fish is from the sea and you know it's it's relatively a clean sea it's not polluted eat the skin all right so we got ourselves um literally two fillets of this haddock all right okay that's the tail end take a scissors yeah and i cut these up all right so we're gonna cut them into roughly about that size it's already been deboned yeah um so into that sort of size that's what we're gonna have these, um, we're gonna cut these fillets up into, all right? So, let me just go ahead and just cut these up. And for the speed of time, I'm gonna fast forward this bit, yeah? Okay, so, I've cut my, um, Haddock. I mean, you can use any fish that you want, but I've chosen to use haddock here. Yeah? So I've gone ahead and I've cut all my haddock, haddock, haddock up 
into pieces. Now we're going to just season this with some old El Paso, all right? And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for me, you know, because I am a traditional, uh, right, that's enough, all right? So I've got this amount, oh, this is from one packet. I've got that amount of uh, seasoning, and that's what I've put on the actual fishes. So I'm gonna go ahead, cover this, because I don't need all of that. Right, and we're gonna get our hands dirty. So we're gonna literally just rub the seasoning on in. Now, what I do to this old, old paso, right? so this is what you've got, yeah? Okay, now what I normally do with this is again, I season this bad boy up. So I go in with my Bart's chili powder. Not a lot, just a little bit, okay? All right, because this actual packet says it's mild, yeah? It says right there, mild, yeah? It's a cheesy mild flavor. Well, we don't do mild, we do slightly spicy. So I need to add just a little bit of chili, all right? We're gonna make this, a, just, just add this to our spicy fish, all right? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna shake this up in the water, completely get everything shaped up in this container. soaking in and that is it so we can leave this now and put this in the fridge all right put this in the fridge I'm gonna let that soak in to the fish because this right ah oh, I forgot one thing all right we do need to add this oh, it's right here right. we need to add a little bit of oil so I'm just gonna spray it Give my trusty thing a pump. This is just normal oil, guys, and uh, you literally spray it. Right? Okay, give it a pump again. That's fine. Alright, now this is what I do. I literally give it another quick shake just to make sure that it's all coated in that oil. All right. Shake them all around. Get them all coated in the water and oil and seasoning. Right, with that chili powder and everything. That's, that right there is beautiful. We're gonna put this in the fridge. Okay, now what we got is um, some salad, right? So I've got, um, I've got lettuce, I've got spinach, I've got orange carrots shredded up, right? A little bit of kale and um, shard, and we've got little cherry tomatoes, right? That is the salad, but we're gonna add to this salad, okay? So, what we're gonna add now this is an organic purple carrot, yeah? Now I tend to go for this because this carrot is one, it's natural, right? And it's purple, okay? Just like potatoes. Potatoes are naturally purple, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add this to the salad also. So I'm gonna peel the skin, right? And I'm gonna shred this into this salad. Yeah? And that's gonna go into the enchiladas, okay?
Okay, so we're gonna make the salad there. Yeah? So basically, all we're gonna do, huh? put that right there. We're just gonna peel the carrots. Huh? That right there is a beautiful carrot, right? Purple carrot, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest this into, let me get, a so let's just clear this we're gonna go in with the avocado okay I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the avocado okay now with the avocado we're gonna go in Alright, so let me just show you. Hopefully this avocado is good. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this off. We're gonna use our knife, we're gonna go in. Okay, right, so that's the whole avocado in this. All right, just gonna use our knife and just cut that up. Perfect. All right, we're not done with this. We're gonna mash this up with some good old decent seasoning. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grate her. With the side of the grater, we're going to grate this carrot. So we've got our purple carrot right there, right? And now we're going to put the other salad to that. So this right here is the salad. So just give it a little mix. So we've got the purple carrot all mixed in to this right here. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna season this salad. Can use this lemon. All we need is probably about a quarter of this lemon. Right. So, gonna use our hands and we're gonna squeeze the juice all over this beautiful, beautiful salad that we just made. All right. So there's no seeds in this one. I'm not in the part that I have, but that's fine. We can go ahead and we can squeeze lemon in there. We can put the skin right in the sink. Clean the hands again. Right, we're gonna add some jalapenos to the salad. Yeah. So this is a spicy jalapeno cheese mix. So we just want a couple of these jalapenos in there. So let me just make sure I can get some of them in there. All right, uh, come on. There you go, all right, here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. here you go. 
that's the jalapeno that's in there. Give this a mix again with all the jalapenos that you can see right there. Right? That's a jalapeno, that's a jalapeno, that's a jalapeno. Just give that all a little mix in. Right? With the lemon, with the purple carrots, right? natural purple carrots, yeah? and this organic salad that we have. All, right? all the leaves, okay? all these leaves mixed in. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this all in. All right, that salad is done. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful salad right there. All right, so that salad is done. We don't need nothing else to that. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's just peel. Let's go ahead and peel this carrot. Beautiful, beautiful purple carrot. All Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shred some of this carrot up. Right. So that's our lovely purple, purple carrot. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this, all right? This is what we're gonna do. Put the fire on and we're gonna heat this up slowly, okay? Now, We're gonna prepare one onion. All right, so let's just go ahead and peel that. Okay, so that's mixed up. Now we're gonna add the carrots purple carrots so we can get all of that in there. Alright, so that's what we mix through. Now we can add some of our oil. Not a lot, we just spraying some oil, let me just pump this up. Get a bit more oil in there. We're literally just gonna saute this fruit. That's all we're doing. Okay? So let's get this sauteed fruit. We can leave that covered and sauteed. Just a little bit of oil, okay? And I'm gonna be right back. All right, so literally all we're doing is sweating this stuff off, okay? And sauteing the uh, onion, and purple carrots as you can see, all right? Purple onion and purple carrot. So, I've literally sauteed it. Let me turn the heat up, okay? And um, now we're gonna add the fish. 
So there's no seasoning in that. Just literally sauteing that stuff off. Now we've got our seasoned fish that's been seasoning for about, probably about two and a half hours. We're gonna add this now, all right? So actually, before I do that, let me just go ahead and just add a little bit more spray oil to that, okay? Now, we can transfer this heat to another bigger heat. Turn that one off. Now we need to add heat to this, all right? Because what we're doing is literally, we're gonna just bring all of the carrots and onion to one side. We're gonna incorporate this seasoned fish to this. Okay, so let's just get all of that in there. Gonna incorporate now the onions and the carrot on top. Okay. That's all we're doing. Okay. We're gonna fry all of this up. On a high heat until that fish is cooked. Now this needs to cook for mm. not a long time to be quite honest, probably about 15 minutes. All right, okay, so let's just get this into focus real quick. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the guacamole. So, this is what we do, right? It's gonna be different, not to what you're used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop all of the actual um, avocado that we just, now we're gonna add just a, a little bit, get that over there. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of lime, okay? Not a lot. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna squeeze that through our fingers. The reason why I do it this way is that we get the juice and we don't get any seeds, all right? We can go ahead and we can just get most of that juice in there that's a guacamole all right so now we're going to just add a little bit of this onion all right so we just want half of this onion so literally for this amount of guacamole all right we just need half of onion so put that to one side just going to peel this onion yeah now this is what we got left we're just going to use this, we're going to incorporate, finely cut this into the avocado and the lime, all right? Now 
how we can mix this through. All right, so we're just incorporating the guacamole and the onions that we just sliced up, all right? Just incorporating that in there. Now, to this, we're gonna add just a finger bit or just a small finger of salt, yeah? Don't want a lot, just a little bit. That's it, that's all we need, okay? You can seal this up. That's our salt. Now we can further mix that in. Now, to this, I'm gonna add some red Leicester cheese, okay? This is what we got in the UK. Right? So you can add any cheese that you want, but I'm adding red Leicester. So let's go. And we're gonna add this into the guacamole, all right? All right, so we're just gonna add the cheese to the guacamole and give it a really good mix. So that's it. That is a beautiful guacamole, all right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna now set this to 250 degrees. Yeah. You guys can see that, that's set to 250, okay? So we're gonna now allow that to roast. Just, you know, just warming the bread through, all right? And we're gonna now share this out and you're gonna see what this looks like. So these are pretty much warm, so we can go ahead and put these on the plate. Put the cover back on. Right. We can turn that off. We can go ahead and spoon out some of this. So this is the fish. enchiladas that we're making right now all right so we can just spoon this out on either side of those bad boys all right they're looking great now all we need it's a salad. This is salad. So we're gonna go in with some red. All right, that's looking great, okay? So we've gone in with some red. And uh, got a cherry tomato right there. We've gone in with some red and orange seasoning. Yeah. All right. So that right there looks pretty good. We're gonna go in with some guacamole and cheese. That's the guacamole and cheese. And we can go in 
with our red tomato, red onion, red sweet pepper with some a little bit of scotch bonnet to make it spicy. All right, we can go in with that. That right there is a meal. You need to take a picture of that. Beautiful. Catch you guys in the next one.